Hi students, let's continue with this uh, Vampus word pro problem. In the previous video, I just explained what are the conditions for this Vampus word problem. Means what are the uh, things that you need to be taken. So with the help of those conditions, you can uh, check each and every room and you can uh, enter into that gold room and you can take that gold and you can uh, come back and exit from the cave. Okay, so now let's see if uh, the agent is in first step. First step, what is that? Suppose the agent starting here from where he has to go. Either to the right side or to the left side. Which side he has to be go. Means the forward or backward or which way. The first step is, uh, so here uh, the agent, what he is doing? Here the first room is safe. I can say this first room is safe. Okay, I am just writing okay here. Let's take A is an agent. I said A is an agent. You could here A is I am representing OK. Why I am writing here OK? Because this room is safe. There is no stench and no breeze. So in this room, in this room, I am talking about this room. In this room, there is no stench and there is no breeze. So I can uh, say this uh, room 1 is OK. OK. So now the second step, in the second step, Second agent moving to the second step. So second step he, he can enter into either to this side. Okay. Or to this side he can enter. Let me take the agent is start from this side. Let me take the agent starts from this side. Okay. So the one one is okay. And this is mark it as a visited because this is okay. So then it is mar marked as a visited and write okay here. Now he entered into this room. So this is 2-1. Uh, this is the room of 2-1. Okay. That is second column and the first row. So 2-1. And here I am writing B. Because there is a breathe smell here. In this uh, room there is a breathe smell. That's why I have written B here. Now the A is the agent is present here. Okay. Now the agent is present here. So whenever the person receives a breeze smell, what he has seen? He is saying that he perceived a breeze smell adjacent rooms. Adjacent room is not safe. So go back. He is saying go back. Why it is not safe? So you know the rules. Okay. Whenever the rooms adjacent to the pits has a breeze smell. That means adjacent pits or adjacent rooms of these. Whenever you, wherever you are getting the breeze smell. The adjacent rooms are be maybe a pits. Maybe a pits. So if you go into that room. You, you will fall down and you will never come back again. So whenever the breeze is there. He perceive the breeze smell. The adjacent rooms is not safe. I, the adjacent rooms are either this or this or this. But this is already I visited. It is okay. So no problem here. So the thing is either this room or this room. This is not an adjacent. Only these two rooms are adjacent. Either this is not safe or this is not safe. I don't know which one is not safe. So what I have to do? I have to go back again. I have to go back. Okay. So the agent go back again to 1-1. One, one, and he now he will check to this room 2 1. Now he will check this second row, first column 2 1 and visited by agent. So we will use symbol V. So this now this is he visited. Write it V to represent the visited square because this is not safe. This is already visited. So obviously he has to go to this room only because to forward to, to get that uh, goal, he has to visit this. I can't enter into this. Okay, I'll just write here the visited. So the visited, now the agent is A here and write it here it is OK because this room is OK now. Now he has to check the fourth, the agent's third step. Agent, third step. So what is the third step? The third step is, uh, now the agent will move to the room 1-2. Okay, now the agent will move to the room 1, 2. So this is 1, 2, not 2, 1, sorry. 1, 2. Okay, the, now the agent will move to the room 1, 2, uh, which is okay. 
In that room, the agent perceives a stench, which means the worms is nearby. So observe here, if he enter into this room, the stain he is receiving a stench smell. That means. There is something, uh, vampus is there in this adjacent room or this adjacent room or this adjacent room. But this is already okay, either this room or this room. In these two rooms, there should be a vampus. But this is already we know that some breeze smell is coming, means something is there. So, it may be a pit here. Okay, he thought that it may be a pit here. Okay, but it is not, pit is not here. So, let me write that. So, now the agent will move to the room 1, 2. So, it, it, it showing little bit confused but it is not that like it is very easy. So, this is okay and this is uh, somewhat, uh, this is a breathe smell is coming. Okay, now this is already visited 1, 2 and this is visited and it is okay. Now, the agent is present here. The agent is present here. Now he has to go. This is a, he thinking it, it may be a pit. Already it is there. It may be a pit. That is 2-2. Two, two. Means the next will be the pit. Not here. The next will be the pit. Okay. The next will be the pit. So, uh, it should be assumed. So, but vampires cannot be in 1-1. One, one. So, here, whenever the stain smell is coming here, from this stain smell is coming, either vampires is here or here. But here. Here the vampires cannot be 1-1 one, one, as by the rules of the game and also not in the 2-2 two, two also because agent inference that vampires is in the room 1-3. Okay and in the current state there is no breeze. In the current state there is no breeze which means so in the current state this is a 2-2. Two, two. So whenever he enter into that in the current state there is no breeze. In this state there is no breeze and there is no uh, pit. And there is no vampus also. Okay, there is no vampus also. That means it is a safe and we will mark it as an okay. And we can mark it as an okay. And the agent move further in 2-2. Two, two. So now he can move further. So that is the fourth step. Let me write this fourth step. The agent is the fourth step. Okay, so this is already visited. Okay. And this is already breeze is there. So, he doesn't move into this direction. He went into this direction and he visited and marked it as an okay. Now, the person is entered into this 2-2 two, two room. Okay. So, which there is no breeze smell and there is no uh, vampers and nothing is there. So, this is also he marked it, visited and write it as an okay here. Okay. So, whenever at the room 2-2, two, two, there is no stench and no breeze and the present. So, let's suppose the agent decide to move. Either he can move to the 2-3. He can move to the 2-3. Okay. Either he can move to the 2-3. Why he can move to the 2-3? Because if he move here, there is a breeze smell is coming. There is a breeze smell is coming. Whenever the breeze smell is coming... It may be a pit or something. In adjacent rooms, there may be a pit. So, he cannot go here. So, now he is checking from this condition. So, here whenever he is standing here, he is getting a glitter. Glittering. Uh, he is able to sense. Glittering means, obviously it should be, a goal should be the present in this condition. So, it should be grab the goal and climb out of the cave. So, the agent is now entered into this 2-3 uh, at the, this 2-3 position, the agent perceives the glitter. So, it should grab the gold and climb out of the cave. So, this is a way he can check the uh, which room is uh, safe. This is with the help of this vampus word problem. So, the vampus is there without entering into the room and without entering into the pit, we have to grab that gold and came out. So, the conditions with the help of these conditions, we can check each and every room. If something is there, you can again come back and go to the adjacent rooms. So, only to the adjacent rooms you can go. Okay. So, this is a vampus word problem. So, uh, in the next video, I will apply uh, how the preposition logic can be used in this solving the vampus word problem. Thank you.